guys, welcome to Emory Lane, where my goal is to help you feel beautiful inside and out and remind you that you are enough and help you save some money if I can. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you some really cute workout, some sports, cheer, dance, whatever, hairstyles that are bobby pin free so you could have your hair stay in place all through your game or your performance or whatever and look super cute. Let's get into the video. Okay, so let's talk about our basic ponytail and how we can improve upon it. If you're new here and can't tell, I have very long hair and so it gets weighed down a lot and when I do a high ponytail or anything that's not at the nape of my neck, it'll get weighed down really fast and I'll keep having to either redo it or pull it tight and it just gets annoying. So how we fix that is really easy. So all I'm going to do is divide my hair in half right where I want the ponytail to sit. Then I'm going to get the top all situated. Then I'm going to take a ponytail and tie it back. Then I'm gonna loosen this up a little bit because I hate that feeling of that really tight ponytail when I'm like running or jumping or whatever. Okay, then I'm just going to take the rest of my hair and gather it up and basically add it in just like I would be doing a normal ponytail. You wanna make sure when you're gathering up the bottom half that you try to use that the hair on the sides to cover up that line that we made. And what this does is we're dividing the hair up so one ponytail doesn't have to try to hold up all your hair. So if you have thick hair or long hair or both, this just evens everything out and makes it so your ponytail doesn't get weighed down, it doesn't it isn't painful when you're like jumping or running or something like that. Makes it so it also doesn't sag. I know some people will do two ponytails right underneath each other, but since I have thin hair, you can really tell that they're two separate ponytails. This is a lot easier way to disguise that you use two different ponytails. Okay, next, we're gonna do like a tuxedo type braid. So I'm just using my part as a point of reference. That's about the arch of my eyebrow. And for one side, I'm gonna make sure it's gonna go all the way straight back because it kind of curves. And then I'm gonna take that part all the way down to the nape of my neck. It doesn't need to be absolutely perfect when you get to the back of your head because you can't really see it. And then clip it off. And then I'm just going to do the exact same thing on the opposite side. And then once I have everything parted, I'm just going to do a Dutch braid. You can decide where you want your Dutch braid to start. Some people have it start like way at like their part line. Some people have it kind of like in the middle. Some people have it at the top of their head. Whatever you want. And then once you're done adding in hair, you're just going to braid it down a few more times and then tie it off with an elastic. Now you can unclip or take out the ponytails at the sides. I'm just going to fix the hair right up top, kind of pull out it to make it even. Now all we have to do is get the rest of the hair in a ponytail. So you're either going to take a comb or a brush or whatever and grab one side, make sure you get all the hair, and gently brush it back. You want to make sure you don't accidentally grab the hair that you added into the braid. And to make things easier, I'm just going to clip off this side for just a second while I gather up the other side. And gather all the hair together, take out the clip if you put one in. And then before you add the ponytail, make sure everything's the way you want it. Make sure everything's laid out over the part. And then tie it off with an elastic or a ponytail or a scrunchie. And then this is optional, but I'm just going to take this little care pen and use it as a topsy tail. You could use a topsy tail and wrap some hair around the ponytail. If the elastic that was holding the braid uh, is bugging you, you can just pull that out too. Next we're doing a pull through braid ponytail. Okay, you're gonna start off by gathering all of the hair on top of your head, like I kinda use the my temples as a guide. Scoop it all up. You could technically, if you wanted to, leave your part like this and just kinda smooth it to the side. I'm not going to. I'm just gonna pull it all back. If you wanted to also, if you're doing cheer or something where you want a lot of volume on top, you could tease this area first, put some like texturizing powder or something like that in there and really bump up the volume. I'm just gonna put it in a ponytail and then flat it a little bit so it's not super flat. One thing that really helps with this braid are these kind of ponytails. I have a hard time doing these kinds of braids or hairstyles where there's a lot of little tiny ones. It just gets caught and frustrating so these little ones where they're still fabric but they're a lot smaller and thinner help out a lot. And then tie the elastic right at the base of the hair. 
before I do anything else, I'm just going to add a little bit of volume to this top so it's not super flat against my head. Then you're going to just clip it off temporarily. Then you're going to trace a small line on either side of your head all the way back to gather up a thinner section. Depending on how smooth you want this, you could use your fingers or a comb to kind of smooth those sections back. Then tie it off with another elastic right underneath the one you just did. Okay, after that you're going to let this clip keep it close though because you'll need it again. And then divide the second ponytail in half and bring it up front. Drop the first ponytail in between those two sections. Clip the second ponytail out of the way, right where you clipped the first one a second ago. And then you're going to do the same thing as before where you trace just a smaller section of hair on either side comb it back and except for instead of just making a ponytail um, underneath the first one, you're going to add that first one in that we just brought back into that section and then tie it off. And then we're just going to do the exact same thing again. Unclip the top section, divide the bottom section in half, let the top section come in between the two sections that you just did, made, bring those forward and out of the way. Gather up a new section of hair, tie that all together, and then just keep going until you run out of hair. And then it's up to you. You can either leave it like this where it's tight. I'm going to stretch it out because I think it looks a lot cooler that way. And it will still stay in place because of, there are so many elastics. I'm just going to start at the bottom and pull on the edges. I like to hold the ponytail with one hand and the pull and pull with the other. You can make the loops as big or as little as you want. And then look in the mirror and fix anything you want to. And then if you wanted to, you could wrap hair around the ponytail. I'm not going to. You might have to fix the top again a little bit if you decide to stretch out the braid. I think it's cute. It's kind of edgy in a way-ish, especially if you had that volume on top. Okay, next I have a bubble braid updo. Again, if you have a hard time with bubble braids or braids similar to that, it's really helpful to use these kind of little fabric elastics versus plastic elastic plastic elastics, that's hard to say. So you're going to part your hair down the middle or slightly off center if you don't love a middle part. And then you want to make sure that it's parted right down the middle at the back of your head, even if it's not at the top, you can kind of like zigzag it, angle it, and then clip off or tie off one side of your hair. We're gonna start elasticing. You could use your finger, you could use rat tail comb to make your partings, but all you're going to do is you're going to take diagonal sections, cause that's what I think personally looks the best that are pretty small like I don't want mine to start like right here I want it to start just a little bit further back it's like right where my temple starts almost I'm actually right at my temple is what I'm doing so I'm just taking that little section that I just made and tying it off and I'm doing it at an angle I'm tying it off at an angle versus straight back so straight back I would have had the ponytail facing this way this it's facing more towards like the, the side of my head versus straight back which is my goal because I kind of want the braid to go down towards the side at first and then meet up at the middle to make like a V shape. That's our goal, we're making like a little bubble V. So now that we have that little section, I'm going to take my comb again and grab another section right behind it. It can be as big or as little as you choose. I'm doing like medium sized sections. Make sure the hair is all combed out and then add another elastic in that. See how I'm following the angle of the first one? For my next little ponytail, I'm gonna be doing a gray one instead of a black one. I'm just doing this to kind of add a little pizzazz to it. If you wanted to, you could wrap all of the elastics with hair before you like went on to the next one. You could use clear elastics if you're more comfortable with them. You can do a pattern, you could do rainbow, whatever. Once I get to my third elastic, I'm gonna stop for a second and kind of do the bubble part of the bubble braid. Stretch out. A little section in between all the elastics. 
Um, and I'm stopping and doing this instead of waiting until the end just to make it a little bit easier. You'll, I'll have to go out back and fix them again because they'll get pulled on when I do the elastics. But it's good to get them at least loosened up a little bit. You can make them a little bigger than you think. See how when I mess with this one, this one a little bit flat. But it's good to get them at least a little bit loose. And now that I've also reached the crown of my head, I want to start facing the braid towards the middle of my neck. See how it's kind of going straight back now? I want to have it follow this line, like this, until I reach the middle of my neck. Hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, just watch and you sh it should be pretty easy to figure out. And then I'm just gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. One of the little poofs is too intense for you, like this one is a little bit too intense for me. Just take the hair right at the base of the ponytail underneath it and tug it a little bit and it'll kind of calm down. The trickiest part of this hairstyle is making sure that you put the elastics at the same place on both sides. So if you're worried about that, maybe when you get towards the back and you can't see very well, either use a double-sided mirror or um, maybe have a friend help you or at least watch you. <laughs> it's not that tricky, but it's pretty easy to kind of just feel it. So once you get to this point, you want to make sure, look to make sure you really like how the bubbles look. And then we're going to do the same thing that we've been doing, except we're just going to use all of the hair and not add any hair to it. So it'd be like doing a normal braid versus a French braid. You're just going to put in an elastic and then go a couple edges down and put in another elastic until you reach the end of your hair. A couple tips when you're doing the braid at the end is if you don't know how much space to put between each elastic, I just use my thumb as a point of reference and then you want to stretch out the bubble in between each ponytail or else it like the ponytail underneath the bubble you're trying to stretch will like slide up all weird so you want to make sure to do that between each time you add an elastic and then you want to make sure to do on on this one to make sure to really make a bubble instead of like half a bubble like we did when we were adding in sections so that way if you pull your hair to the side or if it is on the back whatever there'll be a bubble no matter where it can be seen from If you want to check out my last no bobby pin hairstyle video, you can click right here. If you want to see my cheerleading hairstyle video, you can click right here. And if you want to subscribe, you can click right here. I love you guys so, so much, and don't ever forget that you are enough. Bye! Mwah.